Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. We are going to discuss gold, silver, euro and US dollar uh, in this video and we will look at the largest swings and the smaller swings as well. So in gold, we are expecting uh, gold to complete the pattern that actually started back in 2011 and I believe that we are running through wave A, wave B and wave C structure, basically three three and five wave structure uh, so it's a regular flat pattern oh sorry ext uh, extended flat pattern because we have seen a top beyond the previous top so we have an extended um, expanded wave flat correction I mean expanded flat correction so we have quite a bit to go I believe that we are expecting to see a bottom forming somewhere around 1270 ish um, by the end of 2024 um, uh, August 2024 and we have quite a lot to go and we look at it on a smaller time frame and let's see what's expected to happen and what swings we are forecasting so we have seen initial move uh, one of the alternate count that i gave was we were expecting the pullback definitely we were expecting uh, for the prices to go and one of the um, forecast that I gave that there is a possibility that the price is going to go all the way up over here and that's exactly what we have seen so we were bullish and we had three forecasts that price would either stop somewhere over here the second one was over here and the third one was over here the price so definitely price followed the third one so we have seen beautiful pattern complete now the question is whether the either, either the pattern is complete right over here in that case we can call it wave 2 and then we are, can expect for the prices to come down further but if the pattern is not complete in that case we are expecting for the prices to come down and then go up all right and if it is complete in that case we are expecting for the prices to come down so both cases are indicating that we are expecting for the prices to come uh, to complete a bearish price action uh, and if you're looking someone who was uh, who has been um, bullish they can clearly see a structure right now so on a smaller time on this daily time frame we can clearly see a flat correction forming so this is very very important point so let's say if you are bullish in gold you must wait for the drop uh, and the break of the previous top right over here so if you're bullish you must wait for the break of this top other because we are clearly seeing a corrective structure I am clearly bearish I have been bearish and then we are anticipating that the correction move is complete this lag is complete so we have two points right now and then that's what I'm discussing so I'm definitely discussing starting from Monday I'm ex expecting for the price drop right over here and then somewhere around over here I'll put an analysis at the end and on the lower end and that either um, we are going to jump up uh, and create this or we are not going to go up and we can going to con continue further down but we are bearish on gold and silver so this is the chart this is the analysis for the next week I'm bearish for uh, gold for at least next week and then uh, somewhere around the bottom we will try to make another forecast so you can put your stop loss right over here and this is going to be around one ratio to um, profit to loss ratio let's have a look on a an um, interesting chart that we have seen is uh, this one right over here okay this is very very interesting chart I can tell you I was gonna make a forecast that indicated that we are going to see a truncated fifth wave this is the leading diagonal let me before actually I can discuss that let me just give, uh, give a sharp uh, and very quick larger time frame analysis so I do believe that from the top we are still going on completing the pattern and then this is an a b and c structure so we are completing a zigzag structure this is the 5f structure 3 wave structure followed by a 5f structure this 5f structure is an ending diagonal which is diverging and that's why you can see that the diverging lines are indicating too so let's have a look at weekly time frame so I believe that we have completed wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and 4 are complete and right now we are going through wave 5 structure and I believe that wave A and B of uh, zigzag in fifth wave 5 is already complete and we are going to see a sharper price, uh, price movement on the downside which is going to be a simple 5 wave structure so 5 wave structure followed by 3 wave structure followed by a 5 wave structure 5 3 5 structure which is a zigzag is expected in ending diagonal let's have a look on a 
Now, daily time frame, this is the forecast that I gave right from the top that we have been bearish on gold uh, and silver right from the top. So we have completed, I believe that we have completed a leading diagonal. Uh, and the leading diagonal is very clear. But the only thing is that this move did not continue. I was going to make a forecast, then I did not post it. I should... I thought I should wait for the completion of the pattern, but the reverse has been, the price has been very sharp. So you can see that the price, we were expecting for just a little low. So clear truncation has happened. If you are an analytician, uh, you should know that at times, uh, a wave would not complete its price target. And that's why it's called a truncated wave. We have clear wave one and two, three and four, and wave five. And wave five is truncated. So we believe right now that the wave is complete. And I believe that the correction expected. Now this truncation is probably indicating that we are going to see a deeper correction right over in that territory. Uh, also note that gold and silver both are going through a different time frame. Uh, so different smaller time frame analysis. On the, as the larger wave stays same they're both bearish but on a smaller time frame you're expecting for silver to be going bullish and while gold is expected to be bearish so similarly if you can look at gold you will see that gold completed a bullish move while silver completed a bearish move so this is very important uh, let's have a look on a four hourly time frame i believe the next few days are going to be uh, we will definitely start seeing some corrections. We can see that the top line, so we will definitely see some corrections. But overall, we are going to be bullish on silver. We are expecting for a pullback. As soon as pullback happens, we shall wait for the completion of the pullback and we shall join with the trend to go up. So for the next week, I am bullish on silver and I'm going to wait for the completion. Let's say that correction wherever the correction comes over here so i'll wait for the correction i'm not saying the correction is coming over here let's say the price goes up a bit and makes a correction so but i'm expecting that we shall actually see some kind of behavior like this but definitely as soon as the pullback happens i'll go long on silver and then we will start expecting on the bearish move all right this is very important uh, that next week we are bullish on silver and we are bearish on gold and the reason is you can also look at this chart and when silver is coming down gold was going up and it completed a bullish move so i already given you the larger time frame analysis on the smaller time frame analysis the next thing that we are going to discuss is euro euro is uh, completing a very simple pattern it's a beautiful analysis that we're going to show and us dollars uh, is simply the dxy is simply the opposite pattern let's have a look at silver uh, sorry euro and on a daily time frame, uh, let me have a look if you can get all the. Okay, this is the labeling of the daily time frame. We have completed a 5 wave structure from the bottom, and we are anticipating that we are going to see an ABC structure. Uh, look at this bottom that has clearly broken the, the previous two bottoms. So we are now anticipating the next bottom to be creating further low maybe probably finding the support on the upper level of this one all right so that's why just in case we are just bringing it right over here and uh, this is the uh, the main swing that we are anticipating we have completed wave a and b uh, within a b c structure we have completed part of wave b as wave c as well and we have seen a pullback as well we'll zoom in on a smaller time frame to see what's happening on a smaller time frame let me delete that so we can actually see the pattern actually so let's have a look on an hourly time frame and then we can adjust the chart here. So there's quite a possibility that this move is uh, this move that happened. This move is part of the previous move right over here. So therefore, this shall be taken as a, a bearish setup. Okay. In case and keep your stop loss tight in case the price goes beyond it then we'll wait uh, we will draw a trend line over here okay I'll repeat my analysis in case I missed you a bit so what I'm saying is that right now I'm anticipating that we have completed the uh, the top right over here and then we are going on the bearish side and I'll already shown you that for days to come we will be bearish or I will be seeing a clearly bearish move on downside. Less in case on a smaller time frame, we haven't seen the top. In that case, 
put your stop loss right over here in, the, in case the stop loss gets taken off in that case you can find that this is going to the structure that when price comes down and breaks this support at that point we'll do the enter so it's a two-step trade all right you can go right now you can go short right now you can go short over here let me say this is okay so this is the alternate count right over here and this is the main count saying that we have seen the completion of wave two all right and we can say that wave one is complete over here and this is an abc structure in case wave one did not complete over here but it had completed over here in that case we have an a wave a b wave and a c wave so that's an alternate count okay but at this point i will go a short on euro okay we are anticipating a strong bearish move in gold and that will go hand in, in go in hand with the along with the uh, gold as well that if euro goes down the us dollar will go bullish and uh, that's in that's what it means the us dollar will be bullish that will push gold down so main count and alternate count i've already given you i think that the trend has weeks to go i would say three four weeks to go on the further bearish side so let's bring it further down here we can also use a trend channel if you look at the previous price movement we can see that if you use a, a trend channel then that easily uh, uh, provides the uh, long and short opportunities so we can use a similar channel right over here okay and we can extend it to the bottom further down all right so hopefully this will provide you with some guidelines so we're waiting for the price of and let me see how much time it has spent i'll be able to help you with how much time it has spent. instead let's go and complete the weekly time frame analysis so okay yeah i would say we have easily um one two three four five six seven eight nine um, we have easily four to five weeks i would say three to five weeks left of the price movement and we have a lot to go so this price movement can simply come down like this because we are going to create a lower so we uh, this is another technique that you guys can use we have one channel you can put a next another channel for on the in front of it to give you more price target okay so the first channel is there and we can simply draw another channel and we can extend it let me see if i can drag it right over here so you can extend it further down and this will give you more guideline right now in terms of price and we'll keep on definitely we'll keep on analyzing the market as well but i'm clearly bearish on euro i'm clearly bearish on gold and i'm bullish on um, silver let's have a look what's happening on dxy so here is the thing we have clearly completed wave one two wave three and four and five so let's have a look, quick look analysis i'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete that. And we can say this is A, that's B, and we can say that this is C. So this is deleted. And the structure actually started from over here. We have a clear 5 wave structure starting from the top, which is this is weekly time frame analysis. Okay. This is weekly time bar. So that's why. They're probably a little, a little, looking a little funky to you. So we can come convert them to daily time frame analysis. Here. Mm, let's have a look. Okay, here it comes now. So you can clearly see that the first swing, wave A clearly broke the previous two support areas. So the support is already broken and wave four the next support level is the end of wave two uh, sorry wave one right over here or the extended form right over here so 109.60 is our uh, price target for us dollar so what we can do is that we can uh, 
actually we shall use this so we can say we are expecting to 109 50 okay so we have completed wave a wave b is complete and we are expecting for the prices to go on the bullish side i mean let's have a look um, we can draw the the trend channel for it So there are two possibilities what I'm going to discuss right now. We can definitely, definitely call it as a single zigzag completion. In this case, we will call it a W. This will be an X and then we will call it a 535 five structure easily. The second possibility is that this is a 5 wave structure followed by a 3 wave structure followed by a 5 wave structure. All right. So this is, uh, we are looking at it. Let's have a look on a weekly time frame. I'd say three to four weeks are expected of uh, bullish price action so we have because we have already spent uh, two weeks you know if you are seen uh, again already to so give you two to three weeks uh, about 10 to 15 days in correction so I believe that we have spent that time already and we should be continuing on the upper side let's have a look on, look on our hourly time frame so we can actually find the trading uh, entry and exit and that comes with a chance so here is the possibility let me have a look so once again we have this structure we should look at it we have pulled back and another wave and then the wave right over here if you look at the structure right over here we have clearly seen that this structure is coming right over here which is a double three structure i'm considering so i'm considering that this is a bullish move and this is a correction and we should join in and we should put our stop loss right over here if this is taken out if this stop loss is taken out that would indicate that the wave actually the impulsive wave actually ended over here and not over here in this case we'll wait for the prices to complete and then we'll draw a trend channel sorry a support line and we'll wait for the prices to cross cross that support line over here this one over here so it comes with the main uh, main analysis main count and the alternate count so main count is that say that we have completed a bottom right over here and will be bullish uh, over here an alternate count says that we have not completed a bottom over here and there's a possibility that we'll come further down that'll be our alternate count and in that case we should wait for the prices to um, break through the support of the, the structure the supposed structure all right i hope that i was able to provide some assistance in finding gold and silver and uh, us dollar and euro analysis I wish you good luck with your trading if you like the content please put thumbs up and subscribe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.